Alright, so we're back. Uh, I went to go get some food and I came back. Uh, time is now like almost 3 p.m. I don't know when the last time I was playing uh, was, but uh, that sentence made no sense. I don't know when the last time I was playing was. Still sounds really awkward. Alright, <clears throat> so uh, we are going to head over to, uh, I think over there. Uh, I remember I parked my car really well here. Uh, we're gonna head over to the apartment, I guess, or, or something over there. I don't know. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> that was <laughs> Officer Tao. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, that was so fail. That was I was so unprepared for that. My god, that was not even my fault. That guy was not watching people cross the street. Next time I'm just gonna like plow my car straight to the to the objective so I can just get out and get there really quickly without worrying about what the hell was that? Why did you give me that weird Okay. Hey partner, what's up? Let's go over here. Oh digs you out, okay, to the car. That's right, come over to this side. He just refuses to accompany me to church. Uh come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh no, is he getting in the car? Ah, uh, He's in no oh damn too late. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband. Oh crap! The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. All right, yeah. let's, uh... You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe right. she's just loyal, or she's in on it. She's in on it. Like I'm guessing she's in on it. Or maybe she's she loyal. Actually, don't know. to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. All right, so we gotta go to the uh, what was it? Oh no, no, it wasn't the apartment. We're going to the movie scene. That's right, or the movie. Silver something, prop something, something. Oh wow, that guy just turned without using his light. Oh, whoop, my bad. Good luck with that. <clears throat> I'm not responding to that dispatch, screw off. Wow, you guys seriously? Like, come on. Alright, so I don't know how to use the siren still. Uh, waiting for my friend to tell me how. Alright, uh, see, we're on the road, it's good. Uh, so I'm gonna plow my car straight to the objective, so we don't have to worry about no nonsense of getting them killed. Um, don't worry, it's good. It's Take it good. easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. Don't worry, it's good. You will. But whether you'll be dead or alive, that's a uh, whole other story. All right. So uh, I went to get some food. That's why it took a little while to restart the game. But, uh, you know what? I think I'm feeling better. Thanks for stopping me. That's a, that's a nice little wall that you can use the car for brakes. It's the brakes. But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if my voice is any different. Or, uh, yeah. I love using that brake. The handbrake is so fun. It's just like... There we go. Nice parking spot. Why am I getting out this way? Oh, because it was blocked. Okay. Yeah, so I got some food. Feeling better. Feeling better. Uh, it's cool. Alright, silver screen props. That's what it is. <coughs> there's the mermaid. Oh, wait. Did my car just... Alright. Oh, wow. It's still missing the top, though, but it teleported here. That's cool. Alright. So, uh... Got ourselves a bear. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I just got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. I wanted to examine that night, but okay. Watch, he's gonna run away, and I'm gonna have to chase him. Wow, this place is pretty sketch. But okay. I can't run, so that means I have to maintain my distance from him. And he's gonna run right now. Probably won't let me uh, catch up to him. Wow, this is a long way to uh. Keep him here. Wow. I'm gonna this is uh. What's the this got to do with me? Casting Don't try stage. My patience, knucklehead. Oh, I get it. No. Quote, unquote. 
See, see this little coucher? He uses this for the casting, because quote unquote casting stage, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Hey, he's got more of these head things here. Pretty sick. Ooh, drugs. I'm trying to focus it. There you Doping go. A 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Wait, did I miss the drugs? No, no, it wasn't this. Oops. Exit that. Oh, more, more of those head things. Watch, and it's gonna be missing one right here. <coughs> Check out this one. Probably nothing special. Same thing. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. You can see through it. It's a film camera. Film camera on the other side. It's a camera. There's a room on the other side. Oh yeah. Huh. Sketch. Oh well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Our perfect yeah, company. Way, Couldn't fit a rat through there. That's interesting. Try over here. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Must be this sketch old thing. Oh, I get it. So from from far away, it actually looks like that painting. So then you wouldn't ever check that. That's cool. I love how I have to kick the doors open, that's really weird. Nice instrument for stabbing. I should keep this. Oh, guess I can't. Let's watch some of these movies. Some of these nasty movies of little girls. Bishop's whereabouts. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Hmm. What's that sound in the back? Is that the door closing or something? Like, do these doors close on their own? They do. Okay, that's not creepy at all. More Mark Bishop stuff. Ooh. Mark Bishop and Jessica Hamilton? So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Oh, so we gotta find it. They're just banging each other, probably. Poison? Or no, just whiskey. It's probably still in the camera, to be honest. But let's check over here. I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Hmm. Okay, how do I get out of this? Oh, there you go. Ah, see, I knew it. It films the couch. Which means that's where they do their little... They're a little banging, their good old, uh, perverted, uh, bangity bang rehearsals. Okay, right, cool. So we've got our evidence, let's get out of here. What the hell? Oh, I thought they disappeared. I'm back. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? <coughs> Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. So yeah. When Bishop was doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his last picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. 
Hmm, this guy's hard to read. Let's view my notebook again. Let's see. Haven't seen him in a while, but... Let's see. Huh. This is lying. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Uh-huh. Let's do, uh... You should get your facts straight before you come in here and start shooting off that mouth of yours. Mmm. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. I feel Any like this. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? Could have totally chosen another really one, but... He was last report on set, so that should have been town. here. Hmm. Lying. You have something on him, and now you're gonna rat him out to McAfee's goons. How do you figure that, brain boy? Uh. Wait, what? What just happened? It's like I made a mistake. Wait, what did you say? Because oh, I don't remember now. Looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Hmm. You have something on him, and now you're going to rat so him still out with McAfee's lie. goons. How do you figure that, brain boy? Alright, so Lorna would be the wife. Bishop. He always made out like he was better than everybody else. Mm. He was no better than any of the other big shot players who came in here. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Hell. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need hmm. to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. This guy's probably a bad guy. Cole, let's get out of here. It's probably a corrupted cop. Corrupt advice detective, detective that's working with the bad guys. Johnny Goldberg. These guys, too. Work for Mickey C. That's right, Evil people. Detectives. Evil people. You wouldn't people. happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part, happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. I'm kind of getting, getting confused right now. But I want to listen to this. Let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only gonna warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kinda dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. I like that guy. The Cassie's getting a lot more cooler. Liking my partner more and more as it goes along.